How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the House of Horror and today we're going to be doing a taste test of some spooky snacks. That's right, I'm going to be taking a look at some of the new offerings for Halloween this year in the stores. Or at least new to me, some of these could have been out for years and years but I would have never known. I'm going to be trying all of these for the very first time and we're going to see if I like them. Hopefully I do, hopefully I don't end up like good old Brundlefly down here, start regurgitating all over the place. But yeah, we've got a ton to get through so I'm going to cut right to the chase. Some of the snacks that are not going to be featured today are some of the very obvious ones such just Count Chocula, Frankenberry, Booberry, those little Pillsbury cookies, and the Reese's Cups that are shaped like little pumpkins. And that's mainly because everyone knows that all of those are great. There's no reason to even test them out. They're all amazing. Go get them. But these are just some things that I found at the store that maybe you guys can get for some of your trick-or-treaters out there or just get for yourselves. So first up, we've got these Oreo Boos. These are actually pretty old. I think they do these every year, but this is the first year that I noticed that they have little shapes. Allegedly, these are just supposed to taste like normal Oreos, so let's just check them out and see what the shapes look like. Scoop. Scoop. Scoober. Alright, well these definitely just smell like normal Oreos. So we've got some spider webs. We've also got a little ghost saying boo. Got a little jack-o-lantern. We got a little bat that says dare to dunk. And a witch. So those are all of the designs, but let's see how they taste and let's take a look at that orange filling there. And let's see if it tastes just like a regular Oreo. That is certainly an Oreo. So yeah, it's just an Oreo. If you're having a Halloween party, definitely get the orange colored ones over the white ones. It just adds a little more to the spooky atmosphere. But let's taste the special flavor just for the fall time. So these aren't exactly Halloween themed, but it's more for the fall season. We've got some maple cream Oreos. And Oreo flavors for me are usually pretty hit or miss. Some of them are good, some of them aren't. So let's see if the maple cream Oreos are a good snack to have this Halloween. Scoober, scuba da ba. No designs on these ones and you're really getting the maple smell as soon as you open the packaging. And let's go for it. Hmm. Yes, these are very, very maple flavored. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I think these are good if you were to just have like one or two. I can't see myself eating a whole box of these. It's a very, very strong flavor and I'm looking for something a little lighter, you know? So yeah, a little overpowering for my taste, but still pretty good. I think people would actually like these. To wash down these Oreos, let's try a spooky drink. Of course, there are tons of Halloween beers and specialty drinks like that out this time of year, but let's talk about some Mountain Dew. This is the mystery voodoo flavor. So not only am I going to be tasting this and seeing if it's any good, I'm going to see if I can try to figure out what the special secret flavoring is. We got a moon on there. Moon kind of looks like a lemon. Maybe it's lemon. Maybe it's orange. I mean, this guy's wearing orange. I don't know. Or it could be something out of left field. Let's just open it up and take a look or take a smell and a taste. I don't know why I said take a look. It's clear. It looks like Crystal Pepsi. But let's just open it up. If I can open it. There it goes. Smells like Sprite. <laughs> it smells like Sprite, but let's take a drink. Kind of tastes like Sprite. Um, I actually can't taste anything. I don't know what this is. It is very fizzy. Honestly, I cannot taste anything at all. Maybe I just need to try a little more. I still got nothing. Maybe I'll let it sit, I'll have some candies and things, and maybe I'll try some more later on, see if I can actually taste something here. So next up, we've got all kinds of candy. Some are just candy in certain shapes. Some of them are supposed to be glow in the dark, and some are some new flavors that I've never tried before. So let's start with the new flavors. First up, let's try some white pumpkin pie M&Ms. I already know I'm going to hate these. Pour them out. We've got some pumpkin pie colors. I'm spilling them all over the floor, and let's give them a try. Tastes like old pumpkin. I'll try one more. Woo. Yeah, I do not like these at all. It's a very muted pumpkin flavor. It's not like a strong, like in your face kind of thing. It just kind of tastes bland. I don't know, man. Just have some pumpkin pie. Don't waste your time with these. Next up, we've got some more M&Ms. And these ones are candy corn M&Ms. I'm actually in the small minority of people who actually like candy corn. So let's just give these a taste and see what I think. All right, they are the colors of candy corn. There's white, yellow, and orange. Are my taste buds just dead? Because I don't taste anything here either. Well, the more you chew it, the more it tastes like candy corn. And I actually enjoy these quite a bit. Um, if you like candy corn, you'll like these. If you don't like candy corn, 
at least give these a try. It might actually be better. It's not as strong of a taste as candy corn. This might turn you around on it, actually. Um, but yeah, these are very, very good. This is the first thing that I've had today besides the classic Oreo that I actually enjoy, so. Next up, I previously mentioned how Reese's Jack-O-Lanterns are always very tasty, and it looks like some other candies are getting into the game. We've got some Twix Ghosts and some Snickers Jack-O-Lanterns. So let's start with the Twix. We'll see what they look like here. That is a ghost, no doubt about it. But yeah, let's just give it a taste, I guess. Tastes like a Twix. Tastes like a Twix. So you're just getting the spooky shape here. All right, let's try the Snickers out. <laughs> the Snickers jack-o'-lanterns are really long and skinny. Uh, this is a very silly jack-o'-lantern. And let's just give it a taste, because that's what really matters. And as you would expect, tastes like a normal Snickers. So yes, both the Snickers and Twix were both good. I don't know if they're worth the increased price for the special shapes. But yeah, if you're having a Halloween party and you want to do something special, maybe you can get some of these. And now moving on, we're going to have a bunch of snacks from the glow in the dark variety. All of these should just taste like the normal candies, but we're going to see if they actually glow in the dark. And we are going to be looking at peanut M&M's, M&M's, Reese's, Hershey's, and Kit Kat. And in order to do that, I don't know if it's going to pick up on this camera, so I'm going to have to use the House of Horror cell phone and go into the darkest, deepest crevices of the House of Horror to get the purest, pitchest blackness that there possibly could be. And we will see if these actually glow in the dark. So believe it or not, I'm actually holding a handful of a little bit of all of these candies, and as you can see, nothing's glowing in the dark. And if I pan over here to the wrappers, there are the wrappers. Guess what? The wrappers don't glow in the dark either. And I had read before I turned the lights off that the wrappers said the wrappers were glow in the dark, not the candy. And I actually did ask requests, but I let them sit out in front of the light for a very, very long time, actually. And as you can see, you can't see anything. I can see a very, very, very light glow coming from the letters of the wrappers, but that is about it. So yeah, this is a bit of a letdown. I thought the candy was supposed to glow in the dark, but I guess it is just the wrappers, and even the wrappers don't glow, so you know what? Just stick to the regular candy. I can't say that I'm not disappointed. So yeah, there you go, glow in the dark candy, I guess. Now let's revisit our Mountain Dew and see if my palate is cleansed enough to actually taste something here. Here we go. Still fizzy, kind of smells like Sprite. It just smells like a Sprite. I don't know, fam. You lost me. I do not know what this is. Maybe just because I've been having so many sweets in the past short period of time, but I honestly cannot taste anything, really. I don't know, it's kind of like fruity? Like, it kind of tastes like a Sprite? I don't know, maybe it's like supposed to be like Skittles or cotton candy or something. I don't know. But either way, it's not a very strong flavor. I don't know, man. I dig the packaging, but you know, just stick to Baja Blast. It's the only one you can really do. And that is about it, you guys. We looked at some scrumptious treats for a spooky Halloween season. If you guys enjoyed this taste test or hated this taste test, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when new episodes of the House of Horror come out. And if you were to give this video a thumbs up it would be greatly appreciated all of it really helps my channel out a lot let me know down in the comments what you want to see next from me or let me know if i should disappear into the abyss forever and never make another video but regardless i will see you back here tomorrow for another episode of the house of horror whether you like it or not and i'm gonna go eat the rest of those candy corn m ms take care and stay spooky